Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix Battlefield 6 running in slow motion. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so there's a few different ways how we can fix this. So fix number one is the check your system performance. So now to do this, we need to go ahead and open up Task Manager. So right click on your Windows and then click onto Task Manager. And now this is gonna appear. So what happens, slow motion effects often happen when your game struggles to render properly. So basically what we need to do is close a background app. So if you've got any browsers opened, go ahead and get rid of them, Discord, OBS, etc. So anything running in the background, just simply click out of them. And now inside a task manager, we wanna go ahead and check the CPU, GPU and RAM usage. So make sure you're on the processes tab and if when you see cpu go ahead and check your usage so at the moment mine's currently at two to eight percent so if this is like close to 90 80 70 you're going to have some issues while you play battlefield 6. we can also click on performance and have a look at your cpu usage now another thing what we can try is network and server lag so in online matches slow motion can appear if the server is lagging or desynced so to do this go ahead and test your connection so open up google type in test connection and then open up any one of the top results here and do a speed test now your ping should be under 50 ms we can also try a different region or server and avoid wi-fi if possible try and use a wired ethernet connection another fix is to update our drivers and game now to update your drivers hit your windows key and x at the same time and then from here go ahead and click on device manager so once you're in device manager go ahead and click on to display adapters and then choose your graphics card so here's my nvidia geforce gtx click on properties and then we've got different tabs here go ahead and click on driver and now if go ahead and click on update driver if this is possible and then click ok Another thing what we can do is type in search, go to settings, so you jump in your system settings. Now from here click on your Windows update, then from here click on advanced options, under additional options click on additional op options and make sure all your drivers are up to date here. So I'm going to go ahead and check all these and then update, download and install. Then once you've done that you're going to have a little progress page here, so you're going to go through them one by one. 